uh, indicates an improvement of the patients. At its monthly Public Safety Commission meeting, the Austin Fire Department delivered its quarterly report showing its interactions with overdoses have been trending downwards since early last year. There are concerns, however, after last week's surge, which resulted in nearly 80 overdoses and nine possible deaths. It can be almost uh, equivalent with a mass casualty, so to speak, meaning that uh, our resources and the city resources can be overwhelmed. Court documents state late last week the Austin Police Department's Organized Crime Division ran an undercover sting operation which led police to crack cocaine and marijuana laced with fentanyl. The drugs were reportedly found on 33-year-old Kennedy Ramijo, who has been arrested along with four others, according to Austin Police. It's important that we get to talking to as many people as possible because talking to the people who are out on the street are going to have the information we need to know where to go next. Austin Travis County EMS's Chief of Staff Wesley Hopkins says they worked with the Austin Fire Department and APD to deploy Narcan rescue kits to hotspots seeing the spike. They also introduced overdose victims to a bridge program to help them get off opioids. It's absolutely twofold so that they will uh, hopefully graduate out of those programs and have a successful outcome. First responders say the scariest part is seeing that fentanyl is now being found in just about everything, including marijuana, as seen with Ramijo's arrest. The evidence is there. It can be in anything. So the awareness of knowing that it can be in anything is probably what's key. APD Chief of Staff Jeff Greenwald says the safest thing people can do is to not buy drugs off the street. You don't know, so don't take the chance. It could have a little bit of fentanyl, it could have no fentanyl, or it could have enough to kill you. Hopkins says if you are going to use, beware and use in the presence of someone with Narcan. So that if you do have a bad outcome, that you can be dosed and then call 911 so that we can respond. That's the safety messaging we're really pushing to the community. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.